Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma bad ayu lahabati fillah From one of the reasons that a person might combine their prayer is due to rainfall and the ulama have dealt with this mas'ala min masail al-ilm in the past up till the present and with regards to this issue Sheikh Salah bin Fawzan brings some very nice ta'liqat that can be very beneficial for us uh, if we want to gain benefit and insight into this issue. And the Shaykh, in his explanation, in a kitab called Fiqh Dalil, in a book called Fiqh Dalil, Fi Shara Tashil, Fi Fiqh Ala Madhab Imam Ahmed Ibn Hanbal, Rahimahullah Ta'ala, uh, actually this is from Shaykh Abdullah bin Fawzan, not Shaykh Salih bin Fawzan. And in his explanation, Shaykh Abdullah bin Fawzan, Hafizullah Ta'ala, mentioned that uh, where, according to the Madhab of Imam Ahmed in the, in the original author, uh, was Abi Abdullah Bedr al-Din, Muhammad ibn Ali, Muhammad ibn Asbas Lal, Asbas Lar al-Ba'li, rahimahullah ta'ala, when he was discussing about the reasons for combining the prayer, he said it's permissible to combine between Dhuhr and Asr and Isha, Isha'in, meaning Maghrib and Isha, during one of the times of either one of those prayers, meaning that you can combine uh, Maghrib, you could combine during the time of Dhuhr, you could combine Dhuhr and Asr, or during the time of Asr, you could combine Dhuhr wa Asr. And likewise, during Maghrib time, you could combine Maghrib and Isha, or during Isha time, you could delay it, and you can co uh, combine the uh, Maghrib and Isha during the, by delaying the prayer to the Isha time. And then he mentioned, of course, li safar al qasr And for the one who travels is shortening the prayer. And the person who is sick, who has uh, a sickness which is very causing a great difficulty for him to go to the masjid or pray, uh, pray at the masjid due to the level of the sickness or that he is totally unable or that there's going to be harm in him going to further harm to his sickness or his sickness will increase that this person is also excused to uh, to not have to go to the masjid and then he mentioned وَمَطَرٍ يُبُلُّ and this is the mas'ala that we want to get into he said and then rain which causes a wetness Sheikh uh, Abdullah bin Fawzan Hafidh Allah Ta'ala mentioned, he said that هذا عذر الثلاث للجم وهو وجود مطر يبل الثوب This is very important here. Uh, he said لكثرتهي So he mentioned that with regards to the rain which you combine for that the level or the criterion for determining whether you go to the masjid or not is if this rain makes your garments wet. Because then if it makes your garments wet, this is considered, uh, this is considered mushakka. That you could possibly get sick, catch a cold or, or what have you from this sickness. But he is mentioning that for a reason and also according to the madhab of Imam Ahmed, because he says, وَمَفْهُمُهُ أَنَّهُ إِذَا كَانَ قَلِيلٍ لَا يُبُلُّ الثِّيَابِ فَإِنَّهُ لَا يُجُوزَ الْجَمْ So he's saying that if there is only a, what we understand from this statement of the Imam is that if 
there is rain and it is not enough to wet your garment, meaning it's only a little bit, then it is not permissible to combine the prayer. This is one of the aqwal of the ulama. And he said, and this is because there really isn't any difficulty upon it. Some of the ulama do say that mushakka, mushakka meaning difficulty, is not a reason. That plain and simple, if it rains, that you could uh, not pray in the masjid. And there's very lengthy discussion with the ulama, the ulama in the past, up, up to some of the ulama of this day. But many of the ulama that we uh, know from Ahlul Sunnah in this time seem to hold the latter view that there is mushakka and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best. And this is the goal that I uh, adhere to according to what Sheikh uh, Abdullah Fozan said, and, and we're going to get into some other great imams who mentioned this from the Salaf and the later generations. So he's saying that basically, in order to combine your prayer, or to, qasr, to, to shorten your prayer, and combine, is that... Uh, the the reason for that would be, uh, or I mean for qasr, sorry, for shortening the prayer, the reason is, uh, from the reasons, is that there is rain which will cause your garment to uh, be wet, meaning that's the degree of rain. And then he also mentioned some of the dalil for this. He says, with dalil al-jam fi matar, and the uh, and so that also it's permissible to combine the prayer. He said <clears throat> during during rain. He said, and the reason, the evidence for this is the hadith of Ibn Abbas radiallahu ta'ala anhumah. قال جمع رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم بين الظهر والعصر والمغرب والعشاء بالمدينة في غير الخوف ولا مطر. He said that the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم. Uh, uh, Ibn Abbas عنهما, said that the Prophet وسلم, that he combined his prayer, he combined Dhuhr in Asr and Maghrib in Isha in Medina. And it was not raining, nor was it the due to the fear, you know, the fear prayer. And in another riwayah or another narration, Min Ghayr al Khofin Wala Safar. And also, he was not, uh, you know, he was not in fear, nor was he traveling. And he said, this is the Lil that combining due to fear and matter are first and foremost, meaning that the fact that Ibn Abbas radiallahu ta'ala anhu, ta mentioned that the Prophet sallallahu wasallam was not in fear and was not and it was not due to rain, shows that the what's understood from this hadith is that if it had been raining or if it was due to fear, then it would be permissible to combine the prayer. And so this is some of what the Shaykh mentioned, and he mentioned some many uh, good benefits, but we want to keep it concise, and we're going to mention some of the aqwal of those who... Uh, 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 some of the major scholars in the past. <clears throat> so, going back to the issue at hand, Hal yajma bisabab wujud matar. Can we combine the prayer due to rain? And that means if you're combining the prayer, either you already are in the masjid, or perhaps you would be at home. Maybe it rained and the muaddin called to stay in your homes or not Not even that the muaddin called, but if there is mushakka, as we mentioned, if there is difficulty. And one of the mashayikh from Dar al-Hadith, uh, he mentioned in a very fantastic piece of research, and he's mentioned in the Aqwal of the Salaf here, 
So that's why we're going to uh, quote from some of it. He said, as for Maghrib and Isha, then majority of the ulama say that it's permissible to, uh, to combine uh, in this issue if, if it's raining. And that is due to the statement of Ibn Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhuma. And also Abi Salama ibn Abdurrahman that he said, Anna min al sunnah idha kana yawman matir an yajma bain al maghribi wa isha. Ruahu al athram. Wuhuwa kol al malik wa shafi wa ahmid wa gayrihim. So uh, Abi uh, Salama ibn Abdurrahman he said that it is from the sunnah that if it is, uh, 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 you know, a day with rain, you know, it's raining, that to combine between Maghrib and Isha, and this was narrated in Ruahu uh, Athram. And this is the statement of Imam Malik and Imam Shafi'i and, Im and one of the state uh, and the uh, statement of Imam Ahmed and other than them and then he said the Imams great Imams like uh, Ashab al-Rai and I, I believe he means by this uh, Imam Abu Hanifa and others that it is not uh, permissible to combine during Matar when it's raining and then he says, was sawab huwa qawl al awl And the, the most correct is the what the majority hold, that it's permissible to combine Maghrib and Isha uh, if it is raining. And then he mentioned the hadith in Sahih Muslim, that this is evidence for this. Jama Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam bayna al-dhur wa asr wa maghrib wa isha bin Medina fi ghayra khawf wa la matar. And this is the hadith we just mentioned. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam uh, combined uh, dhur and asr, Maghrib and Isha in Medina without being uh, in fear and uh, and it was not raining and we already mentioned the mafhum of this hadith uh, what we want to look at here as for between dhuhr and asr so some the ulama they also distinguish between dhuhr and asr if it is dhuhr and asr when it's raining he said famana a gem bainahuma mal hanafiya the hanafiya they prohibit they say it's not permissible if it's dhuhr and asr to combine between those prayer. And with them is Amma Baina Dhuhr wa Asr, Famana Ajam Bainahuma Mal Hanafiya. Al Malik Malik wa Ahmed wa Dahaba ila Mishru'itihi a Shafi. So even Imam Malik and Imam Ahmed also say that Dhuhr and Asr should not be combined and that it is uh, legislated. Imam, uh, Imam Shafi'i said it's legislated. So we're going to try to clear this up so it doesn't become confusing. And this is the, uh, was the uh, Imam Ibn Qudama in, uh, Imam Ibn Qudama, Sahib al-Mughni, he says, وَالْمَطْرْ مُبِيحْ لِجَمْ So this is the, one of the greatest fuqaha, imams of fiqh, uh, on the madhab of Imam Ahmed, you know, sahib al mughni well known. And he says that rain is permissible, uh, that if it's raining, that it's permissible to combine. And he, he mentioned that the criterion for that is that it is rain where there's, there's some mushakka, there's some difficulty, meaning that it wetens, it, it makes your, your garment wet. So if it makes your garment you know, soaked basically, then this is uh, difficulty in going out in that. And so we're not talking about it gets your Carhartt jacket a little wet. We're talking about it, it, uh, you know, soaks your garment, you know, so then there's some, some different difficulty. And he says, and if it is matar khafif, it is just light rain, which does not cause your garment to be wet, then it is not permissible. And he said, and and snow or ice is takes the ruling just like matr, just like rain. Because it is it has the same mana. And also he said, likewise, also if it is very cold. 
So meaning that if there's a great difficulty, uh, and, and sticking to the issue of, of, of the rain, that if it makes your garment, it soaks your garment, then this is a considered a difficulty that many of the great imams uh, mentioned that it is permissible to combine your prayer and pray your prayer at your home because of the difficulty of going out in the rain. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Wa sallallahu wa sallam. Ala nabiyya Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.